What is going on you guys? Jess here from Original Ink by Jess. I work as an office assistant and a volleyball coach in Arizona. And in today's video, we are budgeting paycheck one for August 2021. So let's get started. All right, you guys. So as you can see here, we have rent that was already due on August, which we paid for that. Then today is August 5th, Thursday. So I did get paid as you can see right here. Um, tithing investments in my car are due today. So we'll be paying for that. And then as you can see Friday, we have Apple and Apple actually went up because I got more storage. So I think that's gonna have to be budgeted as $4 now but I'll ch double check that. It is my cousin's birthday tomorrow as well. Then we have Apple. This is coverage for my phone that's coming out on the 15th and then obviously Netflix as well. Then on the 20th, I get paid again and then tithing and phone bill will come out. Then we have Spotify and also Canva coming out on the 22nd later on. The store, one of my coworkers' birthday is coming up. And also my sissy's birthday is coming up. And I'm super excited for her. I don't know what we're doing quite yet, but it should be fun. So that's exciting. Um, so yeah. Um, and then what else? I think that's basically it so August it's a new month and which means new opportunities to save and learn new things so what we're gonna be doing is budgeting out for paycheck one so as you can see here I already mapped out everything pretty much except for my digital cash envelopes and then my sinking funds. So we'll be doing that. And then also, obviously, we have to put in the income. I am an hourly employee and I am a volleyball coach. And also I work in the front office at a school. So my spending sometimes, well, my income sometimes varies. So that's why I like to leave this stuff blank but obviously the bills will always stay the same pretty much. And then that's about it. Then after that, we will be making my spending trackers. So these are available on my shop, originalinkbyjess.com. I do have my own .com. Um, these are available. I have them in the digital where you can print them out yourself and then cut them out yourself. And then I also make them pre-made. They're actually on cardstock. These are just on regular paper because these were testers. So I didn't want to waste paper, but if you do purchase these, these will be on cardstock. And what's really cool about my design is it's left-handed friendly. So what I mean by that, what you'll see is I left a good amount of border so when I do hole punch it it's not blocking off where I need to write so when I hole punch my spinning trackers I hole punch on the right side so I can write with my left hand and that's how it sits in my binder wallet um, but for righties they'll probably punt, hole punch it on the left side and then just write it like that I don't like spinning trackers that cut off where you need to write because it's like it just makes it look ugly I guess I'm a little OCD about that but that's why I made my own and I really like them it's plenty of space for me to write down all my expenses and stuff like that and it also reminds me to be myself and stay true to myself as well which that is my motto so let's get started on budging this out so let's get into this so we already got 
the bills all mapped out, which is a total of $457. So what I'm gonna do is subtract this from the money that is in my account. So $1,580.13 um, minus $457. Which is $1,123.13. Okay, now I take that amount and put it here. Alright, so for groceries, I think I'm gonna budget out. 350. Take out. I guess do 50. Gas 45. South 100. Home. Do I need stuff for home? I'm trying to think. I don't think so because we think we're good on anything bad. Just put 20 bucks just in case. And then miscellaneous, I'm going to put 30. So we'll add that all up. 350 plus 50 plus 45 plus 100 plus 20 plus 30 equals 595. Five. And then we just track this amount from that amount. So $1,123.13 minus $595 equals $528.13. Okay, this amount will move up to here. So five twenty-eight thirteen. If you guys don't know, this tracker sheet is by the budget mom. Um, I got her workbook, I got the digital version on her website. Um, I love it a lot because this part where you can move the amounts to each section is why I love it because it makes it so easy and it's basically a zero based budget and you're just making sure the money goes where it needs to go so I like how simple it is um, so let's keep going now we're at the sinking funds um, I am I'm trying to keep this on the down low but I am trying to save 5k in five months so or is it 5k in nine months sorry I have my little sheet at the bottom over here so 5k in nine months um, and I already did the math of how much I need to save so right now a lot of these are not high priority my main priority is home so like I've said in past videos, my boyfriend and I want to upgrade our living. Our apartment, this that I'm in right now, is our first apartment together and also on my own and on his own. So um, we've learned a lot, we've grown a lot, and we're ready to upgrade. So that is our goal, is to save up enough money to either buy something which my mom and sister really want if you guys have seen my videos with them um, or just move into another apartment Arizona rent here though is ridiculous so um, I just have to see what the best option is when it comes closer to when our lease is up basically so what we're going to do is I know Looking at my sheet, I do have to do $278 per paycheck. 
So that has to go here. Um, so that's what we're definitely going to do is put that here. And then we'll minus that out to see what I have left. D8 equals that. And I know I have a balance for that and I want to knock that out. So I'm just going to minus that out too as well. So I'm going to just uh, a three equals. Okay, so I have a hundred and seven dollars and thirty cents. So we'll just divide that up between everything. So divide by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Because I want to put a lot of money in here. So just divide it by seven equals twenty-four dollars. I think that's right. And so to check if everything's correct, all I do is subtract the money that's in my account with all of the bill totals right there. So that's what I'll do now. correct right on the money on the first try 
believe me, this is really hard trying to do math and talk at the same time on the camera. So if I said stuff wrong, I'm sorry. You know what I'm talking about. Um, but it is what it is. So I'm excited that school has started again because that means I'll be making a lot more money. Um, definitely during the summertime, money is a little bit tighter because I have less hours. But now that school has started, I have my full hours back. And then once sports starts, I get those sports stipends, which I'm super excited about. And that is definitely going to be thrown all to sinking funds and most importantly to home because that's my main priority um, and that is it so now what we're going to do is um, put together my spending trackers that's what we need to do so I need to go grab my wallet take out the old ones write down the new ones so we're fresh and good to go and everything's awesome I'm so excited you guys have no idea so let me clear this up and then I'll come back so we can put these spinning trackers together all right you guys I am back I have my spinning trackers I have my wallet then my sheet so I can write down my digital sinking out oh, my digital spending right here and then my sinking funds so cue the montage all right you guys that's it for the video I did my spending trackers I am going to pay my bills off camera and anything else I need to do I'll do that off camera but that's about it that you'll be missing. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Always remember be you, stay true, be original ink. Bye guys.